and we're back. In today's video, we'll be doing two recipes that we found on Facebook Reels. We will try to do the links below in the description, but they are going to be mozzarella sticks and... French toast. French toast with ice cream. So we're gonna go ahead and make those and then... And we'll be back. These mozzarella sticks are almost done. They're just about to come out of the oven. We've got this Catelli garlic and onion sauce that we're gonna be dipping it in. And if you couldn't tell already, it sounds like they're ready to come out. Those look delicious. They look amazing. I cannot wait to try these. Me neither. Look at those. So much cheese. Hot out of the oven. Just placing these on a plate with our tomato sauce for dipping. Let's show you a picture as soon as I'm done. We did whole wheat bread just because that's what we had, but the recipe does call for white bread. I don't think it's really gonna matter though, and they still look amazing. They so, do. Anyways, we're gonna go right ahead and try this right now. Hopefully we don't burn ourselves. Okay, ready? Oh my God. Mm. That crunch. It's perfect. The bread. Wow. Whatever the air fryer did to it, gave it that perfect coating and that perfect crunch. It's literally the perfect crunch. The only difference is I think I would do a little more garlic mm -hmm. or more salt, just some more seasonings. Uh, we weren't sure how much to put in, but other than that, this, this is amazing. I would 100% make these again. Yeah, these are absolutely delicious. It's cool also because <laughs> it was such a basic recipe. Mm -hmm. It's literally just sliced bread, cheese strings, and... Butter. Uh, melted butter and seasoning and, and that's it then you put it in the air fryer yeah so. it was so easy it took us like what 10 minutes to make this and then mm -hmm. we put it in the air fryer at 425 for i think we did 10 minutes mm -hmm. uh originally we tried six or seven we just wanted it to be a little more golden on the outside so let me try to show you another one and we did flip them after the six seven minute mark just to see how crispy they were and they came out very good, Fantastic. very crispy. And yeah, do you wanna just give a rating to them now? I think I would give them an eight out of 10. I would honestly give them a 10 out of 10. I just think I need to personally work on my seasoning a bit more, but the crisp, the like, look at this. Like, look at that yeah, cheese. That's perfect, honestly. That's literally the perfect ooey gooey Mozzarella stick. Yeah, exactly. I would give it a nine. I guess you could say you could play around with the seasoning a little bit, but overall, this is delicious. As you guys can see throughout this entire review, I've just been eating <laughs> and I haven't stopped because it's so good. My only complaint is I should have made more. <laughs> Essentially, we just cut the crust off, rolled it out with a rolling pin, broke the cheese sticks in half, rolled them up, and then it was a butter, whatever spices you want in it, mixture on top, and then we popped it in the air fryer. Super, super simple. And super tasty. Yes, exactly. Please try this. I could not stress that enough. Right. And so now we're just going to go ahead and enjoy this, and then we'll head over to our next review. Yeah, we'll be back with the French toast review. Okay, so we just finished our French toast. Looks and, delicious. Yes, and it smells even better. To make this, we melted some, we used French vanilla ice cream in a Tupperware, and then we put some cinnamon, brown sugar to give it that cinnamon bun flavor. And then we dipped it and put it in the frying pan, like normal French toast. Yep. And that's what it looks like. Super easy again, another super easy recipe again looks good smells really good yes. and we cannot wait to eat it so that we can give you guys a review exactly i'm just gonna grab some forks and knives and we'll dig in okay so we got our forks and knives a little bit dramatic but can't find the butter knives and we're just gonna go ahead and take our first bite yeah a little stuck to the plate here probably the caramelized sugar i'd say so all right 
ready? Okay. Look at that golden brown. Yeah, it looks so good. Oh, it looks Okay, so ready? Cheers. Cheers. That's really good. Mm -hmm. This is delicious. Mm -hmm. I think I would just make French toast like this all the time. Definitely. It's really good. And you can use whatever flavor of ice cream you want. And, oh, exactly. You could try something. We went with vanilla, pretty basic, but you could probably literally do any flavor of ice cream you wanted. Mm -hmm. I'll do chocolate maybe next time. Or yeah. Or maybe like a strawberry flavor or something. Strawberry would be good. You want to go ahead and just give this a rating now that you've had some? I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10? I would yeah. give it... I'm going with 9 out of 10. 10 out of 10 is would have to be something absolutely perfect. Not that I think there was anything wrong with it. No, like it was really good, but yeah. like it's still French toast at the end of the day. It would have to be, like you said, the most amazing thing ever to be a 10. But either way, if you guys want to try a different spin on French toast, not doing it the traditional way. Maybe you're out of eggs. Yeah, exactly. Give Usually it a try. You've got some ice cream in the freezer, maybe one that you kind of forgot about. It's been in the back there for a while. Try this out, put some ice cream in it instead, and let us know what you think. Bob's I think it your was uncle. Exactly. And Becky's your aunt. Yeah. <laughs> so, one thing we did realize after making the French toast is you really have to make sure you don't leave the toast or the bread in the ice cream too long because if it gets soggy it doesn't really crisp up obviously coat it as best you can but maybe don't overdo it or don't leave it in there too long exactly if you want to get that crispiness right yeah somebody yeah ended up name pouring any names. some extra ice cream on it and this last piece is just mush <laughs> honestly even mushy though it still tastes it's, good yeah so. it still tastes amazing it's super easy and super simple to make really simple cheap ingredients that you can easily buy anywhere and they were delicious yeah they're amazing and fast we should mention how quickly they were prepared and everything yeah so if you're like in a pinch and you're like i have no idea what to make i would definitely recommend either one of these depending if you're craving sweet salty whatever literally bread and cheese strings which like so many people have in their yeah. fridge at any given time. Ice cream, again, bread, yeah. brown sugar, cinnamon. Usually um, people have these things. Yeah, if you if you don't have an idea of what you want to eat or what you want to make, and you want some kind of a snack or some kind of a dessert to have. We would definitely recommend this. Yeah, try them out. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed watching it. Please let us know if there's any specific videos you guys would like to see. Snack boxes, certain recipes, different restaurants. And if you liked what you saw, make sure you like and subscribe. And turn on your post notifications so that the next time a new video comes out, you can watch it right away. Because I know you guys are super excited to watch the next one. We'll see you next time. Bye.